वेलकम बैक गाइस वेलकम टू द चैनल टुडे आई एम हियर अगेन विद अ न्यू सिनेरियो ऑफ वाजू द टॉपिक इज ओल्ड बट द सिनेरियो इज न्यू एंड द सिनेरियो इज हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट कस्टमाइज फिल्टर यू टू विजुअलाइज योर एजेंट्स डाटा और योर एजेंट्स लॉग्स after that creation of filter how you can create the reports and how you can save them then how you can download them and which format you can download them i am going to show you all this today uh, let's uh, log in using default username and password from your wazoo server let's see we have an active agent available in our wazoo server or not yeah we have an active agent as well now the default and main dashboard for your wazu dashboard wazu gui what are the steps how you can start simply you have to click on this icon after that you have to go to the discover button and click on it these are our default logs for and agent i have installed so how you can create a, a readable or short log this is a very complicated and healthy log every time you have to open that log how you can create a filter if you want to see the logs of any any particular or individual agent you have to click on this add filter and type agent name if you have installed agent on the particular host or endpoint you have to type the agent name here if you are forwarding the logs from any endpoint or host then you have to type the device name when you have the device name uh, when you are forwarding the logs from any host or the endpoint the device name field will be visible here right now i i don't have any agent or endpoint from which i am forwarding the logs i have installed physical agent on one of my endpoint that's why i am using the agent name here click on this agent name select operator operator is for only single host is not you want to ignore that endpoint or you doesn't want to include that agent in this filter is one of for the while i am selecting or i will select multiple agents i want that the filter will display logs from any of them if i select five or four agents uh, the filter will display the logs for all or one of them which have active logs or value will be according to this field agent name i have two agents one is the wazoo server and 
one is my endpoint I will select this and click on save only one log is visible if uh, I want to delete this filter I will click on this if I want to edit this filter I will click on this I will select Wazoo here it will show us some logs now how you can minimize this healthy log or you can shorter this log I want to see the I will click on this plus button <clears throat> this will show you only the agent name and the rule ID is being has been triggered in this time period I will add that as well these are the rule IDs that has been hated in this 24 hours <clears throat> time period the next is description for this rule ID click on this and any other information you want to add you just have to click on this plus button and it will be added to this I if you want to see the IP click on this plus button because this is the Wazoo server agent that's why the IP will be not visible here and if you want to add full log this will be added as well if you want to remove any of these field from this report you just have to click on this red cross now the next step is I want to download this report I will click on this reporting look here these options are light in color unavailable first every time you create any kind of filter you have to save that filter first name any mm, according to your requirement or to memorize the filter I will name it Wazoo server you can add the date or time as well click on this save button the filter has been saved and that filter will be visible here as well in the future we can use this as well we are going and another important point if you want to extend or minimize the time you usually can select this if you want to select any time period the report will be more healthier if you want to define any particular time period uh, uh, I may say the last one or how you can create that filter first click on this then you have two parts first part is for the start and the second part is for the end then you have to click on absolute and three and the time is right now 18.30 and the next step is 3 and 90 click on update that will show the logs according to this time period you want to select last 24 hours you simply have to click now how you can download the report click on this reporting button now you see these buttons are available and dark in color generate I will click generate CSV and the report has been downloaded successfully on your machine now simply click on this and the report has been downloaded according to your required number of fields this is how you can download and 
create particular filters in Wazu server and now load these reports to share with any team member or whatever your requirement is that's the scenario for the today and this was the topic for the today video hope you guys understood it very well please like and subscribe share my videos with your friends and colleagues to understand the scenario for the wazu hope all of you like and understand my video thank you for watching stay blessed you can comment any of your query and uh, you can email me you can, can you can contact me anytime for the purpose of help and stay tuned for the next video stay blessed bye bye